Hello, everybody. We're going to begin chapter one in this lesson. And our topic is dimes, nickels, and pennies. So chapter seven is about time and money. So how do you find the total value of a group of dimes, nickels, and pennies? Right. So so get a, your bag of play money. Okay. And we're just going to, I'm not going to draw the total coin, but I'm going to write the names of them. So a penny looks like that, okay, and it's worth one, one cent, okay. This is what a nickel looks like. And a nickel is worth five. And the last one that we're going to talk about today <clears throat> is the smallest of the coins. And it has uh, ridges on it, okay, going around. And that's a dime. And it's worth ten. Okay, so the penny doesn't have any ridges. Okay, and of the three that we're talking about today, the nickel is the largest, largest size. But the coin that is worth the most is the dime. Each dime is worth 10. Okay, so keep that in mind as we look at 346. Okay. So a dime is 10 cents or 10 pennies. Okay, we write 10 cents with this symbol. Okay. And we call it a dime. This symbol is the cent sign. Five cents is written as five with the cent sign. And one penny or one cent is worth one cent with a cent sign. All right, so count by tens. I'm sorry, count dimes by ten. So in this drawing, we have three dimes. Well, each dime is worth ten. So we know how to count by tens. Ten, twenty, thirty. So ten cents, twenty cents. 30 cents. Okay. Count by five nickel. Okay, well, each nickel is five, and we can count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. So five cents, ten cents, fifteen cents. And then <clears throat> we can count by tens. Count by fives and count by ones. So in this problem, um, when we're counting money, you want to start with the one, the largest value of coins that you have. So here we have two dimes. So we're going to start by counting those. 10, 20 cents. Then the nickel would be the next largest value. So 20, 25, 30 cents. And now add the pennies. 31 cents. 32 cents. So the total value of these coins are 32 cents. Okay. And it takes a hundred cents to equal a dollar. Okay. So here we have 32 cents out of a hundred cents. All right. Count on to find the value. So we have all nickels and a penny. Okay, and it says one cent on the back. All right, so we have five. So let's write five cents, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, 25 cents, 26 cents. 
Okay, so the value of these coins are 26 cents. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26. Okay, let's count number two. Okay, we have dimes and nickels. We're going to start with the dimes because they're worth 10 and the nickels are worth only 5. So 10 cents, 20 cents, 25. Okay, 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 plus 5 is 30. 30 plus 5, 35. Okay, so we need to be able to count by tens and fives. So these coins add up to 35 cents. Okay, let's look at page 347. Okay. All right, count on to find the value. Remember to write the cent sign after the number. So here we have all dimes. Okay, so we have. 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 40 cents, 50 cents, 60 cents, 2, 4, 6. So we have 6 tens or 60. So 60 cents. Okay, and number 4, we have all nickels. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So 5 cents, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, 25, and 30. 30 cents. <laughs> Number 5, we have a combination of dimes and nickels. We're going to start with the dimes. 10, 20, 30, and dimes, right? So 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 45 cents. And in number six, we have nickels and pennies. So 5, 10, 15, and then we would count by one. So 5 cents. 10 cents, 15 cents, 16, 17, 18 cents. Okay. All right. Maggie had five nickels. She gave two nickels to her sister. What is the total value of the nickels that Maggie has now? What is the total value of the nickels that Maggie has now? So she had five nickels. So I'm just going to write five to represent nickels. And she gave two to her sister. So we don't have those anymore. All right, so how much does she have? She has five cents, 10 cents, 15 cents. So the value of her coins is 15 cents. All right, let's look at page 348. Number eight. Solve, write, or draw to explain. Jackson has four pennies and three dimes. How much money does Jackson have? Okay, so let's draw the three dimes. And each dime is worth 10 cents. And he also has four pennies. And we know that each penny is worth one. So he has. 10 cents, 20 cents, 30 cents, 31, 32, 33, 34. So he has 34 cents. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, number nine. Draw two ways to show 25 cents. We can use you can use dimes, nickels, and pennies. Two ways. Well, ten, twenty, and then a nickel would be 25 cents, right? Ten cents, twenty cents, twenty-five cents. We could have all nickels. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, 
five cents each. So that would be five cents, 10 cents, 15 cents, 20 cents, 25 cents. Could we have 25 pennies? Yeah. Could we have two dimes and five pennies? Yeah. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so those are just a couple possibilities. So I just wrote out the 25 cents. Okay. All right. Sue has 40 cents. Circle coins to show this amount. Circle coins. 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. So basically, we need to circle four times. Four out of the eight. There's 80 cents showing there. Okay. We're going to circle those four, these four, bottom four, any four. Okay. All right. So that's it for nickel, dimes, and pennies. So until our next lesson, I will see you soon.